In this lesson, you will learn how to find the slope and y-intercept of a line from any linear equation. We will cover examples in slope-intercept form, standard form, as well as equations with no x-term or y-term. In slope-intercept form, the coefficient of x represents the slope of the line. The y-intercept is the point 0, b. It is where the line crosses the y-axis, and at this point, the x-coordinate is always 0. Our first example is in slope-intercept form. The coefficient of x is 6, so the slope is 6. b is 1, so the y-intercept is 0, 1. This is where the line crosses the y-axis. What if there is no number in front of x? That means the coefficient is 1. So, the slope is 1. Remember, minus 2 is the same as plus negative 2. So, b is negative 2 and the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. What if there is only a negative sign in front of x? That means the coefficient is negative 1. So, the slope is negative 1. b is negative 7, so the y-intercept is 0, negative 7. Notice that when you rewrite the equation to look like y equals mx plus b, it becomes much easier to recognize both the slope and the y-intercept. Now, try this one. What are the slope and y-intercept? You can rewrite this as y equals negative 3x plus 5. This is the same as our original equation, but it looks like this, right? So now, it is clear that the slope is negative 3, and the y-intercept is 0, 5. What if there is no constant term? What does that mean for the y-intercept? No constant term means b equals 0. So, the slope is 2 over 3 and the y-intercept is 0, 0. Now let's take a look at a new kind of equations. This equation has no x term at all. What does that mean for the slope? y equals 2 means the value of y is always 2, no matter the value of x. If you graph it, you will see that it is a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 2. The slope of any horizontal line is 0, because there is no vertical change. So, the slope here is 0. Since the line crosses the y-axis at 2, the y-intercept is 0, 2. In general, if an equation is in the form y equals k, where k is a constant, then the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is 0, k. Now, let's flip the scenario. What happens if there is no y-term in the equation? x equals negative 3 means the value of x is always negative 3, no matter the value of y. If you graph it, you will see it is a vertical line crossing the x-axis at negative 3. The slope of any vertical line is undefined because there is no horizontal change. So, the slope here is undefined. Since the line doesn't cross the y-axis, it has no y-intercept. In general, if an equation is in the form x equals k, where k is a constant, then the slope is undefined and there is no y-intercept. For more on the slope of vertical and horizontal lines using rise and run, check the link in the description. Now, what if the equation is in standard form? First, convert the standard form to slope-intercept form by isolating y on one side of the equation. Start by subtracting the x term from both sides. On the left side, these cancel out, leaving 2y. On the right side, we get negative 5x plus 6. We write the x term first because in slope-intercept form, the x term comes first on the right side of the equation. Then divide both sides by 2 to isolate y. Remember to divide every term. These cancel out, leaving y by itself. 6 divided by 2 is 3, right? Now, our equation is in slope-intercept form. So, the slope is negative 5 over 2. b is 3, so the y-intercept is 0, 3. We are almost done. Pause the video and try our last example. First, rewrite it in slope-intercept form. Start by subtracting x from both sides. Then, divide both sides by negative 4. These cancel out, leaving y. The negative signs cancel out, leaving 1 fourth x. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is 2, right? Now, the equation is in slope-intercept form and you can see that the slope is 1 over 4, and the y-intercept is 0, 2. To learn how to graph a linear equation using the slope and y-intercept, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.